Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Tamil Shelvan. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a Spring Boot project. So first of all, we need to check our Eclipse software is converted to Java WE version. So for that, we need to go help menu. In that help menu, we need to select uh, install new software. In that, you can uh, select the first option, whatever it shows. It will take some time. Normally, Eclipse software present in uh, standard edition, SC version. So we need to convert from the standard edition to Java W edition. So for that, uh, we need to do this action. So here once you can get all the tools here for your selected link. So here in the last option, you can select web xml java we and osgi enterprises development so once you click on that and click on next and uh, follow that actions i already installed in my computer so i can skip this steps once you successfully converted bring uh, java sc version to we edition then we going to install the spring boot tools so for that we need to go help menu and you need to select the Eclipse marketplace. In that Eclipse marketplace you can able to get number of tools which is related to the Eclipse software. It will take some time. Now I can type here STS tools and enter so STS is the short form of spring tools the last version is spring tool 4 so you can select the spring tools 4 here and click on install button in that spring tool version I already installed it so I can't able to do the installation process now because it is already installed in my PC. So in your computer you can follow the same action. Click on install. Which one is Spring Tools 4? This is the version for current version for Spring Boot. Once you downloaded this and installed it, I can skip this session. Now how are we going to create a spring project? So go to internet browser, type the start dot spring dot io start dot spring dot io website. So this website can give us a spring dependency, spring settings, everything. So we can easily set to the Spring project tools and names, everything, packages, everything we can able to set here. And once we set and add the dependencies, we can exporting our project from here to import our project to the Eclipse. So in this website can provide every tools depending uh, the Spring Boot so here we can easily able to fix the project whatever the project you want to work so you can go to this website and now i am going to create one basic spring boot project so for that in that project name i am going to fix maven and the language is java it's fine and the spring boot version is 3.1.3 that is default if you want to change it change otherwise don't change that and project metadata I am going to give a group ID is spring demo and the artifact is project name so I am going to give spring boot sample and the name automatically it will come and description is about the project
and the package name automatically it will create in here and the packaging is jar file java version if you have one one seven java version jdk version then use it or else you, if you using 20 or anything you can select and in the dependencies in the right hand side you can able to see the dependencies whenever we working with the java spring boot application you need to add the dependencies i mean you need to add the tools for supporting tools for uh, working with the project so normally without a spring boot uh, we need to write the code and the configure the dependencies and all everything but uh, spring boot gives us directly we can able to include the tools what are the tools we need to add in our project so dependencies in that i am clicking add dependencies normally we have only one tool that is spring web for it is used to creating the spring spring boot project like build web including restful application using spring mvc uh, uses of uh, apache tomcat and all everything so i am clicking on that so it will add it once i added the dependencies i can click on generate button down here it was generating and i i should navigate where it will going to save so i'm just going to navigate this i already created one file that is spring boot so here i want to save it so once you downloaded the project i mean once you get the project from in this website go to where you downloaded I am just downloading here. I am getting the zip file. So before importing this project to our Eclipse, we need to extract it. So right click on it, click on extract here. It was extracted. Now directly once you extract the Spring Boot project file, go to the Eclipse, go to the file, click on import and here you need to select the import project wizard type so in that you need to select maven in that maven project type you need to select existing maven projects click on that and click on next and here this is the root directory you need to select the folder which now uh, we exported one project right and uh, extracting here in the folder so you need to select that folder click on browse where i exported the project here in the spring boot folder so i can click on that and clicking on select folder once you click to that click on finish it's going to downloading here it will take some time in the right hand side bottom you can able to see whatever it is downloading in the eclipse now it will asking me do you wish to enable the additional java sources recounseling to get spring specific validations and suggestion i am clicking on yes so now it is over it is downloaded entirely i am getting all the spring boot project folders everything in this uh, spring boot project easily in this way you can able to get the spring boot project from the from that website i told you start.spring.io and how can i run how can we run the spring boot project so every spring boot can have uh, this all types of files uh, folders in that uh, this is the java main folder which is here only we need to uh, do the all class files java class files everything and in this folder inside we have one package that package inside we have a whatever the project name we gave spring boot sample application so it will be there the main program name automatically will be the project name project name with the application word 
so here i am getting the main program and this is the spring boot application so the annotation will be automatically it came and in the second folder that is resources if any of the databases you want to add you need to use this application dot property file other than no use there and apart from that uh, we have a uh, uh, unit testing folder and uh, java normal libraries and maven dependencies i told you maven project dependencies and uh, src this one is later on i will explain about this src everything and this pom file whatever the dependencies we are setting there in the spring boot when we uh, op opening in the project setting website so in that places we are adding some dependencies right that dependency code automatically will be generating here so like uh, this is spring web by select so there are two dependencies automatically generated one is spring boot starter web another one is also spring boot starter web started test for unit testing so like that uh, uh, it will generate all the setting files dependencies everything can be created by xml file here in the pom.xml okay so automatically we can get all the codes we don't uh, need to add in the dependency additionally because every time we we can select the dependencies when we creating the spring boot project in this website so the code will be automatically generated in the pom.xml file so now we uh, we going to see how to run the spring boot project i am coming back to the main program here so in this main program i am typing system sys boot so inside that what i am going to do i am just giving hello spring like that i am given so how can i get the output in the spring project it's similar to the java project only just right click right click the project right click the file wherever uh, in the workspace right click go to run as menu, run as button run as menu in that uh, you can able to see uh, two things java application or spring boot app anything you can select i am selecting spring boot app so see here the spring boot was started and i am getting the print line output also hello spring so in this way you can uh, work with the uh, spring boot project and every spring boot project can be run in, in the tomcat server only the tomcat server port number is 8080 by default in the next video i am going to explain about this clearly so thanks for watching everyone